Well, hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. You're very welcome to the program. And um, we're continuing here at the Glen Park Estate. And it's absolutely beautiful. And of course, it's a restaurant hotel. Now, as I said in the last wee video, because the Ulster History Park closed down many years ago. But it's great that the hotel has actually took this over because although it's not opened as a museum, you're still able to walk about it. And although you can't get into the houses, you're still able to have a look at the old houses and the old settlements. And so that's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna take you down to the plantation house and let you see the plantation house. And of course, many of our towns and villages sprang up from the time of the plantation of Ulster. Of course, these aren't original houses. They are replicas. How you doing? How are you? So this is the plantation settlement. And you certainly would think that you're walking back in time, there's no doubt about it. That's what you call 17th century air conditioning. The chimney in that. Awesome, isn't it? I wouldn't fancy being a ch chimney sweep and having to clean that one. That's for sure. Uh-huh. And... I have a few wee friends here I'm going to introduce you to. Oh, he's away, he's scared. These are the chickens. Hello. 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 There's a rooster. In fact, I think they're all roosters. I will be able to show you inside here because uh, some of the windows are, br are broken, some of them are, are open. I done a wee raggy before I started filming. Amazing, isn't it? It would be great, you know, if uh, the hotel could maybe do something with those and uh, open them up again for the public. That's a plantation house. I'll show you in there shortly. So there's a wee challenge for the hotel. The hotel was packed today. People are definitely coming. I would say there's more people coming now to this place than there was when it was a museum. Because people are coming for their meals. So I would say people would come and do the park and they get charged for people entering the park. And then they would eat their, their dinner, get their meal in here in the restaurant. Just a thought for whoever owns the restaurant up there and it means people not only could enjoy their dinner but they could also enjoy walking in and out of the houses because at the minute you couldn't do that 
This is like something out of the Tudor era. Not amazing. So you're in, but you're not in, if you know what I mean. Fantastic. So that's the restaurant. Hotel there, just beyond the trees. This is amazing, isn't it? You know what I'm going to tell you? See, when I opened that there? I could actually still smell the smell of this. Um, the turf. You can smell the turf. And that was the smell that you used to get when it was a museum. Just the same as the Ulster American Folk Park, only this is the Ulster History Park, or at least it was the Ulster History Park. But you can still get the old smell, the turf. So there must be turf in here. Fantastic. I can remember in my reenacting days up at the Ulster American Folk Park. Um, Maybe even some of the guys might be watching this. But there was a big fella, a big tall fella called Frank. And uh, we were walking around here. And in one of the passage tombs, I says to one of the guys, look, I'm going into the passage to tomb, saying big Frank in. So in the passage tomb, it's pitch black once you get into it. But you can see the people coming through the opening, but they can't see you. And so uh, I went on in and hid. And the next thing is, I seen Frank coming in when he got when he got into the middle of the pitch black. I went over to him. He never seen me, and I went, "What about you?" And he near jumped out of his skin. So he did. Of course, Cameron Robinson. He used to be the leader of our reenactment group. We were called the Minstrel Boys. We'd done the American Civil War. We'd done the uh, French Indian Wars. We done uh, Magamore of Independence, mostly all up at the Folk Park, but in other places as well. I can remember even doing the Break of Dremore. We helped them out for the reenacting society of the Orange Order whenever they were just starting. And now I am doing church history, so it's fantastic. So this is your plantation house. So there's a wee knocker, so I'm gonna do what I normally do when I see a knocker. I'm gonna knock it. Open up in the name of the king. See the old books there? Isn't that amazing? I think that window's open, you know? No, it's not. Amazing. Isn't that brilliant? It's just like I'm back in history, so it is. Back to the time of the Tudors. That's what it's like. Back to the time of the plantation. So this window's open. Oh, 
Not amazing. Again, you can smell the, you can actually smell the turf in there too. The old smell. It's got the old smell. So this is the bone here, the castle bone. Look at those hanging from the ceiling. Stalic mates, or stalic tights, sorry. There's wee ones there. Not amazing. So this is your typical plantation house. And the reason why I'm here, of course, today is because I was preaching in the area. So I'm going to take you in the next video and show you the tower. But what we'll do first is we'll finish off with this building here. As you can see, it's packed with rubbish, unfortunately. Glass is broke. So as I say, it would be great if the uh, restaurant could um, open this up to the public again. That would be brilliant. A lot of work to do, as you can see, if that's going to happen, which means a lot of money needs spent. So would there be a profit in it? Would the hotel make a profit? I think they possibly would. I mean, they probably wouldn't open it unless it's a sure thing. But now that the hotel's here and it's well publicised, and people come here on a Sunday and get their dinner, I think you would get more people coming and visiting. Not only for their dinner, but also for the artefacts. So there's a challenge to the hotel owners. Why don't you open this up again to the public? It's an absolute gem. So thanks for watching and God bless.